Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Glide Library tutorial. We have learned in the previous video about the dependencies and the libraries. And now we are going to take a real example how to implement the library in our Android Studio project. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lesson. So I have github here.com slash bump tech slash glide. This is a library, an image loading and caching library for Android focused on smooth, smooth scrolling. If you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch, master data structure and algorithms in C and Java, join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. So this is the Glide library. The Glide library. If we scroll down, we can, it is a fast library and we will see it in many of our projects. And we will see how to display images very quick. So Glide is a fast and efficient open source media management and image loading framework for Android that wraps media decoding, memory and disk caching and resource pooling into a small, a simple and easy to use interface. Later on in all of our projects, we will use our friend Glide to display the image. So how to do our, how to download this library. I told you that it works with the dependencies and we are going to implement its dependencies. So first of all, we can download a jar from GitHub's release page and we can put it in the jars folder if we select here. If uh, in the libs folder, if we select the project, we can put it here and include it with the local binary files. But I prefer using the, this method by using the gradle and he will make all these builds. So we go to the repositories. We will add the Maven central and the Google. And we will add these dependencies. We go here, we select the Android, the model, build repositories, grab Google and Maven Central are, are included automatically in the top level. Now let's move here to the build.gradle and let's go to the dependencies and copy and paste these two dependencies, the annotation processor and the implementation. This is the, this is the group, this is the name of the library, and this is the version. So I will paste it here, and I will click on sync now. This will download the libraries here and allow the Gradle to download it correctly from in the site. So when it's finished, it will display no errors. And now we are ready to add the and use the library as it. So this is very simple. This is the Gradle. This is the power of using Gradle in Android Studio. So how do you make use of this library? This library, if we check the documentation, I will uh, show you the simple form of displaying the image, like uh, creating the image view, and then we use the glide uh, and using the M2, which is display the image into the image view. So I will open the activity here, the main activity. I will start by creating the image view, match parent, or wrap content. Let me make it wrap content in order to reserve the resolution. Image view one or image view. And let's infer its constraint. 
I click here, the infer constraint. So our image view is here. Let's use the design. So it's 32, 32 bordering and here, 30. Okay. Now let's declare and instantiate this image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view. Here we start by using the glide library. Despite using the image view dot set image image view view dot set image resource this will contain or this will make uh, the Android Studio memory like uh, being heavier than using the Glide library. So Glide library is a very important library that reduces the memory consumption okay so if i click on the profile let me show you a very quick example and a testing for this library i will download an image here downloading our application logo which is um, mc we can download it from the play store and check it it's about teaching you the android and java python and c plus plus Kotlin, Arduino, and many other languages. So we can check it. Okay, now let's go back to the Android Studio and let's paste it to the drawable and click OK. So if I set the image resource from r.drawable.logo and I run the application, let's see in the profiler, in the profiler, the the amount of memory and amount of consumption. So, but first of all, let me remove this constraint. I will, I will make it like about two hundred five six two hundred fifty six dp. Okay, this is good. Now let's run our application and see the profile. He is displaying as a memory for this if we stop it and run it again the profiler will be loading so this is our image and it has been displayed correctly if you see guys that there is 100 megabyte in the the memory network no need for network energy is light and the cpu is 24 25 and 47 47 is cpu and 100 for the memory now let's run the same app using the glide library if i rem i remove this and i will start using the glide library so how to use the glide library I will put here the glide. I will copy this code and paste it. Oops. Glide, Alt plus Enter to import the package that is responsible for the glide. So import com dot bump tech dot glide dot glide. Okay. So I need to load from the resources. This is with the activity context load and into image view i need to load the image so r dot drawable dot log okay now let's run uh, stop the app and then run it again and let's see the profiler this is this is the app And here we go. It will decrease correctly until you reaching 25. And this is the importance of using the Glide library. This 
will not be very accurate okay guys this is very not very very accurate because we are not displaying big images we are not displaying many images and this is a very simple ui just displaying an image view so if we have a complex ui it will be it will be different and the difference will be very very obvious to you so if i put many images or i i uh, add a 4k image like this wallpaper it's a 4k wallpaper i will copy it and paste it into the drawables now let's try to display it using without using light i will use wall here the default image view and let's stop and run the app and see it in the profiler here the app have been launched now waiting for the profiler and you see as the image uh, as the image increase in size it will increase the memory usage and the cpu okay it reaches here the 47 and here is 120 and so okay now let's try to use the glide library the glide library i will use the wall here and let's run again stopping it run again in the profiler and here we go you see guys that using glide library it does not increase to 120 it's still stable with 92 so this is the importance of using the glide library and it is displaying the image very correct and it's a 4k image okay so we are going to use this library very much in our projects but in this pro in this lesson our purpose is to learn how to implement a, an external library and make use of it